I love funny politics on the news today for doing something weird. So California politics make news for doing something weird. They're holding a recall election on their popular governor because the competition is also a California value. Reuters reports that the opponents of a sitting governor can hold a referendum uh, to oust the sitting head of government with 12% of votes cast in the most recent gubernatorial election. The ballot then offers the voters a 50-50 choice, oust the governor or not, and then make a naughty choice. Who wants to be the home record king? So who's on the ballot today? While there's no official candidates, the selection looks like follows. Republican John Cox, uh, Governor Newsom's competition in the last race, former San Diego Mayor Kevin Falconer in the red hat, and former TV celebrity Caitlyn Jenner. Now, one uh, can be assured that if there's another re- well, one can be assured that there will be another recall election if Caitlyn Jenner gets a seat, as Republicans are likely to be livid. It's almost worth hoping for, but I have to wonder what Jenner's record is in business management or any other form of leadership. Governor Gavin Newsom apparently enjoyed a strong favor among California citizenship. Not only was he elected with 62% of the votes, but 40% of possible voters have claimed that to be willing to vote for him in any upcoming recall election. This raises for me a question. A two-party system, is it possible to challenge a party for their position? Because I have an awesome idea. If you don't like to talk, or, or rather, if you don't talk the talk and talk your walk, get that shit out of here. If you ain't talking or sounding good, get that shit out of here. Arbitrated adjudication 2020. 20. You know what's the vision for you. Come on. I, I want to know if I can say the two-party system is mostly responsible. It seems like the byproduct of another problem where people are not meeting in societies, but they spend their vigor on politics and green ham. It's not the fault of the societies that I... Think it as I overlooked that society wants regimentation where they haven't been paid, or rather, they haven't yet paid a wage. I guess you can see where my politics lie. It's not the fault of the societies, is it? The thresh for harvest culpability levied upon innocent actors who are not those who spend their waking days and nights obsessing over their allegiances, is it? It's not the fault of societies, is it? It is. These political systems are built uh, so much to reflect the values of a propaganda war that they are a nuisance to civilization itself. I say, let's just take the sacrifice of Duggar down and be done with it. Let's play it by ear and wake ourselves through it. I'm sure when penises meet vaginas, we will continue to survive. So think about it. Since I have a little time left in my three minutes, I'd like to tell you that if you enjoyed this micro-podcast, I produce a compilation program at the end of each week that I have hosted by Anchor. I hope you'll help me get paid.